If you're anything like me and you're such an unorganized student, this video is for you. We all know at this point the importance of organization, but it's just not as easy as it sounds. I make notes somewhere and then I forget where I made them when it's time to revise, so I end up having 20 different notebooks and don't even ask me what's in each of them. But not all hope is lost. In this modern world with modern technology, modern solutions exist. Notion is an app that I like to call Word on Crack, or in other words, the best tool for students. Here's how to magically get answers to your questions. Pretty and organized notes. Stay on top of all your tasks so that you can go from the unorganized student to that student. Whether you're a Notion user already or you're completely new, here's how to use Notion as a student. This video isn't sponsored, but Notion if you're watching this, you know. So Notion is basically like Word with a ton more features and it's hard to navigate at first and that's what put me off. But the great thing is Notion uses this thing called templates so you can use other people's Notion pages as your own. After all, why would you try and make cookies from scratch when you can easily find a recipe that's been perfected online? So I'll be linking the Notion pages that I use but you can customize however you want. I found the master to-do list from Faye but tweak it as you want. So number one, Notion AI. In the era of AI, us as students can take advantage of it. Notion has a built-in AI that is extremely clever and its capabilities are limitless. Easily access it by pressing space and you're greeted with all of these tools. Just look at them. You can play around with them, but the best thing that I use it for is this thing called dynamic notes. Note taking will never be boring after this. Say like me you're writing notes on a lecture and you don't get what something means. Not only does Notion tell you what it means, but it shows you what it means in your context by reading through what you've written previously in the page. And isn't that so amazing? This is where search engines fall short, because yes, the information they give you is correct, but it's not tailored to what you need. For example, in this case, I want to know what a synecdoche is. And when I ask Google, it tells me the definition, but it doesn't tailor to what I want to know. But with Notion AI, it tells you what you need to know in your context. And so while making notes, use the AI tool to answer any questions that you have and consolidate your learning. This is vastly efficient because think about it. When we normally make notes, we just mindlessly copy down things and rarely do we actually read. But with this dynamic notes technique, when you have a question, you can consolidate your learning by asking Notion AI. It's acting like cement to hold your knowledge together. As I mentioned in this video, actively doing the thing is the best way you can improve. So by answering questions, it's almost like you're back in the classroom and you can ask the teacher any question you want without the fear of your social anxiety kicking in. Following on from notes, Notion makes it so easy to make your notes organized. Make a separate page for each subject and a sub page for each one. Not only does this make notes so organized so that you can find them, you can quickly and easily switch between tabs and pages. Also, Notion's emojis and embeds are done so well so that images, PDFs, graphs can all be inserted seamlessly, fulfilling that aesthetic study desire that we all had. My notes were never neat, but now they can be. Lastly, organization. We've already covered this a lot, making notes and making them more organized. However, being on top of your tasks is equally as important. Because how are you going to remember to make notes in the first place if you don't know when the next test is? So whether by using the calendar function or by using this master to-do list that's in the description, you can sort all your tasks by important subjects and due date so that never again you'll forget when a test is. I appreciate that this video might have been a lot if you've never used Notion before, but search up Notion tutorials online if you're really stuck or just play around with the templates to see how things work. I believe that making neat and aesthetic notes is important because when they're neat and you like looking at them and you're proud of them, you're so much more likely to go and revisit them to relook at them because what's more appealing to you? Messy notes or notes that are organized. So now you know how to use Notion and how you can use it to enhance your learning as students. Check out these other videos if you like this one.